Hi everyone, Lord Crew here and welcome to my channel. So uh, the one the one that we're gonna do today is like building a budget war deck and then test it in, in a in a mythic rank uh daily. So uh without further ado guys, uh let's proceed. So as you can see we're gonna start playing a uh a budget uh, war deck that is comprises of like a divine order, core, core set, and welcome set. So we're gonna use Slayer here guys. Because we don't have like any out of misery. So we can like uh, do first turn, Valkas, second turn, Warmon, and then uh, Skeleton. So I think we are like uh, a good curve, guys. So we can like proceed this one as we as a first player. <coughs> so for the first player, we will uh, play Valkas. Even though there's no Frenzy, we can use that one weapon, guys, to give it plus two using a, a Warmonger Smith. Of course, uh, the for me the best opening will be enduring shield here, guys. If we have enduring shield, okay. The opponent quit. Okay, again. So we can like try again, guys. Because that was like a, a good opening, guys. And we can like try again. So synchronizing player. So the best opening for me is Enduring Shield. Then if we have a Warmonger, that, that will be our best <coughs> opening, guys. So we're gonna still choose Slayer. Uh, because our opponent, this one, I think this is like a, 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 a good uh, opening, guys. Either we can play uh, Tartitian followed by uh, Skeleton Heavy. So it depends like who get, who goes first. So we can like try this one. Oh, we're like second player here. You'll make it through. Well, parts of you will. Once more onto the breach. So if he did not play anything, guys, we can like play with knock be war. Be warriors. Get ready. So I go for knock be warriors, guys. So the main reason if I play this one with extra mana, he will just attack that one. And he still has one life. So my my strategy will be uh, like play Tartitian next turn followed by Skeleton Heavy. So at least if he trade this one, it will be a good trade. It become 2-4. That's a nice play. So our play will be this one. Followed by Anubian Skeleton. So this one is like a, almost like a dead dead card now because it's zero one unless there's like a, a additional pump like plus one attack and that's the main reason why i like i don't play i don't use this one so if he attack this one or oh, this one damage to all so for this one guys i will just go play attack And then I will just uh, play this one, guys. So I still I have like the board control. I have deals more two damage. <coughs> I can like play this one with one each, but uh, uh, I rather play this one. So if in case he has like a blitz, guys, 
So it's still we still have more damage for this turn. We can like attack more. Attack more. Add weapon. And then use extra mana. So if he attack one of his creatures, that more damage to him, guys. So let's say he has like the 3 5 at uh, 3 6 uh 3 6 the I think the orcish elite the 3 6 with twin strike blitz that will be his uh, I think his best move for now because it will like uh it will have a if he attack to us he will have like a, a protect and manage to kill probably two two of our creature guys but as you can see guys we have like two five damage here so as long as there's no creature on the board uh we will not be afraid of the okay we will not be afraid of uh any so we can kill that one using this one so he takes damage more can like unbreak that one using and then attack this one uh that's a good for us uh we can kill this one guys we can clear the board guys by simply attacking this one first can get the <coughs> we can get this one guys but uh, I believe he's only has one card so we can use this one clear the board the main reason why I better clear the board because or rather than killing this one is because like uh, he might have like a soul survivor guys because especially he has like one extra mana So yeah, pick with. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Oh no, I will just uh, show you my, the deck composition. Give me a few seconds. So the deck composition for that one, if we go to uh, Google, what I'm like using, guys, is as you can see. <coughs> so I played multiple variation of this one, guys, and as you can see, you can see notice, guys. This is like almost like. For me, it's like a good deck and I always recommend this one, this budget war deck to uh, anyone who asks me about like, hey, do you have like a, a budget war? So this is like a process of like uh, Divine Order, Expansion Pack, Core Set, and Welcome Set. So no, no B, you can replace this anything with Casting Cost, especially uh, using a, uh, uh, using the, like for example, if we go now to, So budget war deck so as you can see you can like replace this knock me guys with uh with boil blood outlaw guys if you want if you don't have like partition and knock me boil boil blood aggro is a good one and you can use either trial of spirit for replacement for that one or if you're like athenian archer <coughs> but i highly recommend knock me because it if you frenzy you can like literally uh, kill a, a big creature for opponent so for two casting costs, I will recommend everything. If you don't still have Warmonger, you can replace for additional two casting costs, guys. Like the Blade Caster, guys. As you can see, I don't have like a Master Tactician here because this is like a budget version. So Pyramid, usually player play Pyramid Warden. I replace Pyramid Warden with Skeleton Heavy. And I add additional Valkas Captain here for more uh, weapon, guys. Because your goal is to attack uh, opponents as much as possible. And as you can see, this will be my Raid Revealer and Bait Stick. And you can like add OD. 
And here, guys, uh, I have like another round Archangel Bruiser. I highly recommend Archangel Bruiser because you're using a Slayer. It can literally do overkill. And if you're lucky, uh, you can like get a another round pump the Archangel Bruiser. Viking Longship is an optional, guys. If you want two Viking Viking Longship, that will be great. Just like for more board control. And as you can see, I have like one Red Fume, two Orcish Elite. Usually, sometimes I uh my my other budget i replaced orcish elite with do guild enforcer but based on my experience uh taking board control is much more uh advantage than playing a guild enforcer because sometimes like uh it's also good for guild enforcer guys if you have like a uh, red fume or if you synergy that one with the soul i only have like one soul survivor guys for this build because you're like so aggressive you don't need to uh, two of soul survive at least one it will be okay so at least you have like boost a pump for turn four if you have extra mana you can play this on turn three if you have like uh in turn four if you have extra mana you can play red fume and turn and turns in turn five in a half you can like have like a uh, soul survivor guys so this is like the, the the budget that i highly recommend so the only high chance that you have to replace are your one casting cost I highly recommend Vanguard. You can like place Nokbi or Impartition with Boil Blood or other one casting cost. Okay, that's it, guys. So thank you for watching, guys. And uh, uh, kindly please, if you have like suggestion, comment, kindly please leave a comment. If you like the video, please uh, sub and like. Thank you, and thank you for watching, guys. There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out